Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you student? I think you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today, I, I will present you a class on English for today, uh, for class 9 and 10, especially for 10. Um, A.K. Mashur Rahman, teacher of Param Turashar, Government School, Shariatpur. So, English for today is known to you, but I will offer you a class one Shad Gumbus Mosque. I think so. Welcome to the class, welcome to the digital classroom. Today, I will show you at first the picture of Shad Gumbus Mosque. If you, if you are familiar with the mosque you can easily understand the passage and answer the question so at first i will show you everything about shadgumbu's mosque this is shadgumbu's mosque i uh, you know it it is situated in bagrahat uh, once it was called khalifabad but now it is called bagrahat in the sea coast of sundarban near khulna it is under the khulna district so there are three questions here do you have a building like this in your town what do you call it what is it for so at first this is called shad gobbus mosque after completing this lesson you will be able to gather a special information to ask and answer the question uh, to describe shad gobbus mosque so at first this is Sadgubu's mosque the but it is the uh, roof site so there are uh, a lots of uh, domes here this is called dome who is this domes this is like a bowl so uh, it is seen especially on the roof of the of a mosque this is tower there is also a dome on the tower the four-sided dome it's, it's a it's a round dome and it's four-sided dome there are a series of four-sided dome uh, in the middle of the mosque so dear student this is the another outlook of uh, shad Gumbu's mosque The west outer side. This is west outer side. So there is a mihrab here. There are like a number of mihrab in the mosque, but the large member is it is uh, seen uh, from the outside. Okay, south outer side. This is south side. This is the west side. Okay, north outer side. It is the north side of the mosque. There is a uh, interior here. In the, uh, we can enter the mosque from the north side. Uh, from the okay, 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 passing the door. Uh, there is uh, a, a number of uh, plates here. This is called terracotta, which is terracotta. This is a, which is made from uh, barn art. Barn art from okay, barn art. It is uh, made made of. Terracotta. There's, there's also uh, a one, two, one, two, three, four. There are like a number of terracotta here. Uh, the upper side of the mosque was we we also see the terracotta here. So okay, inner view. The inner of the mosque there there's a like a, a, a number of pillars here. But uh, through the pillar, we can see uh, from one side to another. There is also another side of the okay, inner side of the mosque. See, there is a, like a column, the, like a, a, a number of column. Uh, here it is mentioned the the forest of columns. I means a lot a, a lots of columns is uh, are used to, to build the mosque. We can also see the row 
रो मीन्स शारी इन इन बेंगली बट रो आई मीन्स लाइन कि इन द रो वी कैन स्टैंड फॉर परफॉर्मिंग आवर पेयर्स the student you can also say mehrab the sometime ago i mentioned that there are a number of uh, mehrabs here i mean 10 mem okay, mehrabs in the passes will read about it okay. this is pillar there was arses here arts arts means uh, this is called arts uh, there is there are uh, okay, a number of arts the one who is the domes is a car set so we can also watch a video to know about shad gumbus mosque dear student we we have watched the videos and we know okay, okay, we have known about shadgu musgadilar we have gathered a lots of knowledge about shadgu musgadilar so we can understand the, the passages very easily so now please read the passages and complete the chart the her heritage which what is how to be inherited from the past live with them and in the present uh and then pass so one to, to our children to go to, to our children so uh, please uh, read the passages uh, carefully uh, if you read the passages and compare with the vocabularies uh, read before uh, we can easily answer and complete the chart there is also part uh, another part of the passages khan jahan ali built a network of roads buildings public buildings and uh, uh, reservoirs to make the city habitable there were about 360 mosques in the city among them the most remarkable is the multi dome shad gumbuz mosque the mosque is unique in the sense that it has 60 pillars that support the roof with 70 so 7 low height domes and the four towers at at four corners i have smaller domes on the roof as well so read uh, so on and then answer and uh, complete the uh, complete the chart from uh, in the um, using the information you have already read in the passes and you have okay, watched uh, videos and uh, pictures a lot so at first founded by who founded the mosque this is the first question ulok khan jahan ali then when when it is it was built uh, in 15th century the number of how many domes of the mosques this is 77 low height domes number of pillars we have to know the 60 pillars arches how many arches here 25 arches thickness of the arches 6 feet i mean this is the round hole this is the thickness of 6 feet mihrab how many mihrabs 11 mahamraps so dear student you can also like have learned in the information and you can answer the next question inshallah
so dear student now we have we have some home task write a paragraph on the mother of khanzahan ali you can write this paragraph using the information from the passes you have already got a lot of information at first you can use uh, the the pictures you must at uh, you can get the information and by using the information you can also uh, you can gather knowledge about khanzahan ali and shah gumbus must but how can you write the passage paragraph on mother of khanzahan ali so i think most of the people most of the student most of the you already visited the khanzahan ali when you visited khanzahan ali you also visited the mother of khanzahan ali it is i, I will give you some information uh, by which you can write the paragraph very easily uh, when you i, I uh, visited the also the uh, mother of khanzahan ali it is near the shah gumbuz mosque but it's not the Uh, nearest side but it is only one kilometer far from uh, shah gumbuz mosque so when you go go to the mazar of khanjali at first you can see a, a work, one star building there is a large dome i mean there is a large gumbuz in uh, bangla or arbi in english it is come dome there is a large dome uh, on the roof of the uh, mother of khanzahan ali it is uh, in the red color it is uh, it is not very big but there there is a, a round garden a round garden around the mother of khanzahan ali it is situated on the on a large tank i mean large lake the 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 lake is very big uh, and it is situated on uh, on the uh, northern uh, northern bank of the tank uh, there is also a mosque in the western uh, side of the mazar so you can get the information and you by using the information i think you will write the paragraph you can also you can search in internet uh there there is a large lot of lots of lots of information about the khanaka mazar of khan jahan ali in uh, and you can also watch the videos so i think if you get information if you get help from net and uh, uh, i i i will i am trying my best to in inform you about the mazar of khan jahan ali so i think Uh, dear student you can write the paragraph very easily uh, by using the information and searching one internet and gather knowledge this is your home task so uh, you can uh, you, you can write this paragraph in your house by gathering discussing with uh, with elders about the mazar of khan jahan ali and i think uh, this is a uh, creative question for you uh, so you have to create create it by gathering knowledge from outside and internet on from others without without gathering knowledge from others you cannot create anything it's you should not memorize from anywhere i think it's it's your creativity your creativity will be shown through the paragraph thank you very much thank you all inshallah i will offer you next video for you to develop your english thank you all